Hello biology students, we're going to continue talking about the animal kingdom, specifically the vertebrates, the ones with backbones now. So when we talk about vertebrates, they're really complex and not only do they have backbones, they also have a lot of other things. They're all considered chordates, um, but they are have the internal skeleton, some of them, and that would be called an endoskeleton, that's us as humans. Um, they also have complete digestive and circulatory and respiratory and reproductive and skeletal systems, which we didn't see in all the invertebrates. We have two different types of homeostasis mechanisms or maintenance of body temperature. We have ectotherms, which are cold-blooded. They cannot completely regulate their body temperature on their own. Their body temperature is very similar to their environment. Cold-blooded things, a lot of times people are initially picturing lizards, which kind of bath in the sun to stay warm. Versus what humans do, we're endotherms, we actually can regulate our own body temperature through internal homeostasis mechanisms and, like sweating and um, shivering, but ectotherms cannot. So all of these things are under the phylum chordates, which have backbones or vertebrates, and we're going to be categorizing the couple different cat things we're looking at in the upcoming slides on whether they're ectotherms cold-blooded or endotherms, warm-blooded. Ecto just means um, external, endo means internal. All right, so we're going to get started. So firstly, let's talk about the ecto or cold-blooded fishes category of vertebrates. So they have gas exchange organs that are gills. They have cool skin protection adaptations such as mucus and scales. Their reproduction is usually through the release of egg and sperm, but through the water. So um, sometimes they can, the egg and sperm will meet each other in the water. There are a couple of types of fishes that will actually do um, sexual reproduction like we would normally think of, but mostly it's the eggs and sperm separately meeting in the water. Um, there are a couple different categories. There's the category of fishes without jaws, like this lamprey. Ooh, look at it. It doesn't have jaws. It just has teeth. There are also fishes with cartilage. Those are our sharks and rays. And then we have our normal bony fishes, which are like tuna and goldfish and salmon that we would eat sometimes. Um, so lots of different types of fishes, but they all have a lot of commonalities. Um, and they are a little bit more simple with their structures than some of the other things we're about to look at. Another type of cold-blooded creature is the amphibian. Amphibians considered toads, frogs, and salamanders. One of their things is that the skin has to stay moist. This is really important for their gas exchange ability, and it is also really important for because it relates to the fact that they are sensitive to pollution. They have really interesting life cycle and reproductive strategies. They lay the eggs in a jelly-like substance in the water, and then they breathe using gills when they're tadpoles, and then um, they use their lungs and skin when they are later in their metamorphosis as an adult. So it depends on which time period right they are in their life cycle but they have different structures during those different periods but really cool adaptation to have metamorphosis and interesting limitation with the skin another type of ectotherm or cold-blooded critter is reptiles which is mostly what we think about when we think about cold-blooded creatures here are some examples one of the really neat adaptations that these guys have for the first time is that they have their eggs on land, but they have this cool adaptation for the egg to have a protection layer that's hard and leathery, all right, and that way it won't dry out. So they are the first things that are really good at laying eggs on land. That's a brand new adaptation for this group, and that's because they have this protective covering. Their skin is dry with scales, and that, and they also have waterproof protection to avoid dehydration. So a lot of really neat adaptations in this group to both deal with um, the fact that they're on land, both for skin and reproduction. 
Next category is birds. Birds are our first category of endotherms. Like us, they are warm-blooded. They can regulate their temperature internally. Um, they are also laying their eggs on land. They use nests, and they have a protective hard cover. This hard cover is not just leathery. It is um, kind of like the same stuff that um, seashells are made out of. They have other really great structural adaptations in this category of critter. Birds, they have feathers, right? So even penguins have feathers. They have feet that have scales that are allowing them to not lose water. And they have mouths without teeth most of them right um, other adaptations that are specific to flying they are able to fly well because those um, they have really hollow bones that make them lightweight and they have really strong um, breast muscles which is why a lot of times people really like eating chicken breasts because that breast meat is really thick and juicy and um, that's a special adaptation for birds so that they can pump their wings last category is us mammals and so um mammals right we we don't lay our eggs um outside we have those internal structures all right um other specific mammal adaptations are um because we are going to um be giving live births to our young live birth to our young we're going to also have really interesting adaptations like bodies covered with hair to stay warm even these whales have hair um, and they produce milk to give their offspring really key nutrients and antibodies um, across all of these different groups we had very different uh, developed nervous system circulatory system etc most of the time we think about mammals though with all those systems as the most highly developed and complex and we're going to be learning about mammal systems when we do our human body systems unit at the end of the year all right great job guys